Hey traders, Jake from Optimus Futures here, bringing you a new Optimus Flow tutorial. And in this video, we'll be breaking down and going over the latest feature we've added to Optimus Flow, and that's our newest trade copier feature. You can find this feature in the main menu of Optimus Flow by navigating to the top left of our software. In the toolbar that runs across the top of your screen, you'll want to click on the Optimus Flow logo. This acts as the main menu of our platform. And then if you scroll down just a bit to the green section here, you'll find this new feature under the button CTR, copy trading. If you plan to use this feature often, feel free to click the star in the top right of this square here. It'll add it as a favorite to your, to uh, to your toolbar up top here. That way you don't have to navigate through the main menu every time. You can just come right up here, click on CTR, and that'll open copy trading. Now, as you may notice, I have already organized my layout around this video. I want to keep a clean and efficient layout just so I can demonstrate this in real time and you can easily see this happening in all of our accounts all at one time. So for now, I've had actually already organized my layout here. I have my copy trader feature on the right hand side of my window. I have a chart in the top left just so you can see the positions and orders uh, popping up in real time. And then I have a positions working orders in account window down here in the bottom left as well so we can monitor those too now for this test i'm going to be using four different accounts you can see here we'll click down my account menu i have test optimist test optimist test one and optimist test two these are the four accounts i'm going to be testing with the main account i'll be doing it through is test now one thing to keep in mind if any of you plan to use this feature in the future with us you do of course have to have multiple accounts so it'll typically either be two different accounts or you could have one main account, one sub account. You can structure that part as you wish. And these accounts must be under the same data feed. So if you're a rhythmic user, all your accounts have to be under rhythmic. If you use the Optimus Futures data feed or CQG, all of your accounts that you'll be linking here must be under the same data feed. On that matter, when you are connecting to your accounts, there's two ways to go about this as well. Optimus can either create you multiple logins and you can be signed into each of your logins at the same time. What I mean by that is if you come to our connection menu in the top right hand corner of the platform, you can also access this by right clicking the toolbar and going to connections. You can have multiple accounts connected to do this, hover over your connection that you're using. In my example for this demo, I'll be using rhythmic. You'll click on the plus button and you'll add a new connection. Each connection be, can be associated with its own login. So where I'm going with this is one way we can go about this is each login is tied to its own trading account. Or in the case of Rhythmic, we can have one login associated with all four trading accounts. How you would like to go about this is up to you. We can typically organize this either way, but just keep in mind, if you're following this tutorial and have multiple logins, you need to click this plus button next to your connection and create as many connections as logins as you have. And then you just type in the username and password, sign in with each one individually. Or if we do the latter of what I mentioned, Optimus will create and combine those logins for you initially. And in my case, like I'm doing here in this tutorial, I'll only be logging into one and I can access all four accounts from my one login. So. Now that we've covered how to connect and how the accounts need to be, be uh, structured before you can even do this, now let's get into the real tutorial of the video. So first, like I mentioned, you want to come up top and open copy trading. That's CTR if you favorite it, or you'll find it again down in trading. And now for the rest of this video, we'll be mainly focusing on this right hand side of my, uh, my window here. The first time you set this up, you want to navigate in the top left of copy trading here and click on the plus button. We need to give this a name. Uh, it really does not matter. This is purely customization, so you can create this whatever you want. I would suggest naming it around the product you're possibly doing or the account you're using. You know, if you are doing this with multiple products, you probably wanna make a good description and name for it. That way you have an idea of what it is. For example, I'm gonna be using the ES here. So maybe I'll name this CopyBot ES and I'll just name the description ES test. Again, there's no real 
um, requirements here. It just depends on the user and how you want to organize it for yourself. So really just name it something you'll remember and you'll know what it's associated with. From there, we need to choose a connection. This will recognize what accounts you are currently logged in with. As I mentioned, the parent connection does all need to be the same. So if you have one account with us on Rhythmic and one on CQG, this will not work. Both accounts need to be on Rhythmic. So because right now this is the only connection that I'm currently signed in with, that's all you'll see for right now. From here, we need to choose the parent account. And this is the account that you're going to be actually be placing the orders through. Keep in mind that whatever account you have selected here, which like I mentioned, I'll be using test for mine, cannot be added as a child connection. So in a second here, when we start adding our child connections and child accounts, just remember, I cannot choose test again. So when you'll be doing this, you'll likely have your account structured by your account number, and it will be e very easily to differentiate which account is which. Just remember the main account you're placing the orders through must be the parent account, and each of your sub accounts or other accounts here will be a child connection. So from here, I just need to add what accounts I'd like my trades to be copied to and a multiplier for them. So as I mentioned, I'll be using a couple accounts here. I'm going to click this button four times. And then if I accidentally, like I just did here, create an extra connection that I don't actually plan on using, I could just click the trash can. So I just made a mistake. I clicked the trash can. I got rid of it. So from here, we just need to organize it. It's already done it for us. The platform is smart where it populates which accounts haven't already been chosen. As you can see, here are my three other accounts. Test is the only one that I'm not choosing here. But again, and I'll just do it as a demonstration purpose. If I choose test, it will tell you that it's dependent. Um, it can't be the same. So that's why we can't put a parent account down here. Now from here, um, if for whatever reason you didn't want one of these connections enabled, but you added it, you could click the checkbox to disable it. Um, if you're going to do that, I would just suggest click the trash can icon and just delete it anyway. But we do give you that option. Um, if you do have multiple accounts associated with the same name and you have multiple connections, you can swap back and forth connections here. If you're going to be doing that, though, I would just suggest creating two different bots per connection. You know, have one bot associated with CQG accounts, one associated with Rhythmic. Uh, don't mix them up here right here. Make sure they're all consistent. Finally, you can do it by um, the copy mode, a quantity. So this is basically allocating the main quantity you enter with, and it will then distribute it based on your multiplier or by your percentage. What I mean by that right now, it's set to a quantity multiplier of one. So on test, if I enter an order with a quantity of one, all it's going to do is take this multiplier. One times one equals one. So that means my copy accounts will also be taking a quantity of one. If I set this multiplier to two and I still enter with a quantity of one on my main account, any multiplier with a quantity of two will take an order quantity of two. This is just very simple math. Simply take your entry order quantity and multiply it by the multiplier. So as one more quick example, if I go in with a main order entry quantity of five on my test account, which is my parent account here, and I have this multiplier set to three, Five times three equals 15. That means my copy child connection will receive a quantity of three. The other option here you can see is percentage. So if you have, let's say, for example, you want to distribute this differently where you start with a quantity of 10 and you want a quantity of two allocated to this, a quantity of two allocated um, to this and another quantity of six allocated to your third account, you can set this up by percentage mode and allocate what percentage of quantity you want set to each account. That's what percentage is. Um, ultimately, it's up to you on how which one you would like to choose. Um, just make sure you set this up first and save before moving forward. Once you have your multiplier or the quantity copy mode set up, go ahead and click save. And now you have your bot here. Like I mentioned, any bot you have active or add will show up in this screen so you can have multiple. This is really why it's important when naming so that way you know what is what.
right now we only have one since that's the only one I've done for this demonstration. Just remember, the more you add, the more this screen will populate. The only thing left to do now is to run this. So when you want to have your trades copied from one account to another, you need to open back up the copy trading window and come to action and click run. You'll be prompted with a little disclaimer message that tells you that all position and orders will be synchronized due to the bot settings. Are you sure you want to continue? You'll click yes. And now you can see we get a log on the right hand side. This will tell you that the bot has started. The synchronization is complete. And then now until you start placing orders, nothing will really happen, but you'll see the magic happen once you begin to actually start trading. So now we need to go to our parent account and we need to open whatever window we want to place our orders through. In my case here, I'm going to be using, as I mentioned, my test, which is my parent account. So really make sure you have that account selected from wherever you're entering your order. And then we would just trade like normal. If you want to stop loss and take profit, you can enter that in. Enter in your quantity. And for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to be using a quantity of one. I did use a multiplier of one in my bot if you saw that there. So we should expect that all our accounts will take a buy market order with a quantity of one because our multiplier set all the same. And I'm going to be entering this as a stop loss and take profit just as a protective order. Our bot is running. We can confirm that we can see the status is working. So let's go ahead and place our order. I'm using my test account here again as my parent connection and I'll place yes. You can see our log has already started um, to populate here and we can see my orders were just copied and it's telling me exactly how it's been copied. Orders were copied from Rhythmic, which is what this um, main connection is. And I bought in my Optimus Test 1, Optimus Test and Optimus Test 2 account. Now, if we check my positions in my bottom left, as you can see, all four of my accounts have the same exact order. It was a buy at the market, which got all of them got filled at um, 51, 12 and, and a half. And they all have a quantity of one. Now, keep in mind, this allocation is in copier is done locally. In my case, using a market order, I luckily got filled at all at the same price. Just keep in mind that market orders are subject to be filled at the next available price. So if you are using market orders, you can encounter some different fill prices depending on market activity and how fast the market may be moving, you may get some tick differences on the fills, but that's the nature of market orders. Just keep in mind, if you are using market orders, that could potentially happen. You may not see that same average open fill price for every single trade. Now, just to show you, we have a working orders tab as well. You can see all eight of my working orders are currently active. I have four sell stops. And then I have four buy limit orders or if sell limit orders, excuse me, all used as take profits and limits working on all my accounts. You can see the account names here too. Each one has two orders associated with it and they're all currently working. And again, here are my positions. When you're doing this in real time, feel free to switch back and forth on your account info tab. You can monitor uh, the PL on all the accounts. The PL is calculated in real time, so you can swap back and forth and see how the PL is doing all right through the account info window. From there, this is the extent of how the bot works. It's very simple. Once it's active, any trading you do will just automatically be copied to the trading accounts that you have assigned. As you can see here, it works with contingent orders such as stops and limits. You can place those twos. Those will get copied as well into each account. You can modify, cancel working orders. All of them will be copied. To get out of our position, I'm not going to wait for my stop loss to get filled here. Um, we're approaching the end of the day, so the market's slowing down. You have two options to get out of your orders in my case. I could click flatten and we could watch what happens there. Or we could also modify a stop loss and watch that get filled. Hypothetically, let's move up my stop loss, assuming as if the market were to touch it. Let's try and get it really close. And we'll see if we can get it filled here and you can see what happens if the market were to touch your stop loss in a case of copy trading. I'm just trying to get really close to the market price there. As you can see, trade copies are going through and all my trades are getting canceled and closed out in real time.
it all just happened right there. I know it happened really quick. You can see it getting tracked in the log and you can also see what's happening in the bottom right on Rhythmic. I actually have Rhythmic's Trader, um, their own platform open. So that's why we saw those fills and logs there. You can also see it on Optimus Flow happening in the top right. And again, we'll check our log. You can see exactly how these orders were modified. It even gives you timestamps of every modification I just did when dragging it up and down on my chart it sent those same modifications to all four of my accounts. And it keeps a record of everything. If you do use this feature for days on, uh, multiple days or months, you can even filter here and you can get these logs right from the platform um, for trade copier purposes if you need to review them or whatever the case, um, it keeps this entire log here. And that about wraps it up for this video. So again, just to summarize, we just showed you four different accounts right through Optimus Flow trade copying um, right through the platform. This all happens locally. It's a free feature on our software. It just requires you to have multiple trading accounts. So if you like this feature and you have any questions on it or want to give it a try, feel free to give us a call, post on our community forum, or feel free to post any of your questions down below. If you have any account opening questions or anything of the like, feel free to reach out to us as well at support at optimistfutures.com and we can give you a hand there too. Thanks again for watching and we hope you find this helpful.